This is the Poco F4 GT, and I now strongly believe that this is the best value mobile gaming phone out there on the market because it only costs around $630. So in this video, I'm gonna compare it to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which starts at $1,100, to see if this phone can beat the iPhone in terms of overall gaming performance. And the reason I believe this Poco phone is so good is because it's literally engineered for gaming. It has built-in triggers that you can use to shoot and do whatever you want. You can customize it. It has dual vapor chamber cooling. They even moved the charging controller away from the chip so that it doesn't heat up your chip while you're gaming. They optimized everything as as much as they could for gaming performance. So what we're gonna do in this video is play three different games. We're gonna play, of course, Genshin Impact, the brand new Apex Mobile Legends, and we're gonna play PUBG New State. And to find out which one has better FPS, I actually have PerfDog open right here. So this is going to monitor and show the FPS in real time as I'm playing the game. So before we jump into it, I wanna mention that I matched up the brightness to around 80% on both of these phones. So it's completely fair and we'll get to see if any of these start dimming or having any other issues. So let's jump right into it. All right, so here I am with the iPhone 13 Pro Max in Apex Legends and you might notice that I have it plugged in using the lightning to USB-C cable to the MacBook Pro and that's because we want to be able to see if it hits up to 120 FPS or 90. But before we begin I want to go into the settings and show you guys the graphics and as you can see I've set the frame rate to extreme to make sure we're maxing it out and unfortunately it brings down the graphics quality to normal in order to have the frame rate set to extreme. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into a match and test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording. It looks like it's averaging about 80 FPS right now. It's interesting. Is it limited to 80? It's kind of weird. Got him, 80 FPS. I wonder why it's 80 and not 90. I mean, it doesn't make sense. And I can also see on the actual phone, on the iPhone, it says 80 as well. So I guess that's the limit. Oh, you guys see that? The iPhone just dimmed, and that is pretty bad. Honestly, it is more difficult now to see it. And I feel the heat on my phone. I mean, the thing is, it is plugged in, so it's also charging, but I have to have it plugged in to be able to uh, record 120. And honestly, that was after about uh, eight minutes of gaming, after eight minutes. Oh, there he is. You down! What's up? <laughs> this is fun. Still at 80 FPS? Very consistent. Still dim, so it has not recovered. Got him. All right, so the iPhone is still dimmed, fortunately. All right, we did it. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Stayed at 80, but the display did dim, so that's the biggest downside. Other than that, everything was flawless with the iPhone. Still dimmed right now. All right, and here we are on the Poco F4 GT, and I just love how gamer focused this is because you could actually see the triggers right here, and you could actually recede them back into the phone with those switches. Not only that, but all of the speakers are up at the top of the phone, you're holding it like this, and the antennas are actually built around you holding it like this while gaming so that you don't block the Wi-Fi signal. This is just incredible. All right, this phone is nice and bright, colors look good, but it looks like the FPS is kind of dropping. Actually, let me make sure to turn that on. There you go, it's starting to record, and it looks like we're sitting at 60 FPS, but it's not consistent, it actually does dip down. Okay, now let me show you guys this cool little menu. As you can see, you can see this bar right here. Just swipe out and you see all your GPU, CPU information, your FPS performance, but you can set up your shoulder button. So let me set the right one for shooting right there. And the left one I'm gonna set for aiming. All right, aiming and shooting. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, we got that set up. Let's go. You dude. Oh, I love these triggers. Yes! Sucks you can't get 90 uh, on Android, on Apex. Oh, I'm scared, there's two versus one. Got him. Yeah! 
49.50 FPS, it actually dropped down to 50. I mean, we're getting a solid uh, 80 on the iPhone. All right, I'm starting to feel this phone really heat up and it's been sitting at solid 50. So it literally clocked itself down, no longer getting 60 FPS. Oh, it came down to 40 FPS? We did it. Oh, right at the end, it went down to 40. You can see it down clocked itself to 40 FPS right there. They call this a gaming? Oh, what? So I feel the heat really bad. This thing is hot, just like the iPhone. However, it did not dim like the iPhone. That is a positive, but it went all the way down to a solid 40. It down clocked itself. All right guys, so with Apex Gaming out of the way, we can actually go to Perf Dog and check out the actual stats between these two phones. So first of all, we have the iPhone. It got 79.2 FPS, so really, really good. And then if we go over to the Poco, 53.7 average FPS, so it's quite a bit worse in terms of the FPS, but at least it didn't dim as much. And of course, I love those triggers. Oh, they are so fun. So now let's jump into the next game. All right, so I'm on the iPhone. This is PUBG New State. Let's jump into the settings and graphics. Let's set it to 90 FPS. And unfortunately, it makes me go all the way down to light graphics quality to turn 90 on, but that's okay because 90 is worth it. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, here we are in PUBG, and unfortunately it says 60 FPS. Is it really limited to 60? Graphics max, what happens if I go max? Still at 60, kind of doesn't make sense. Tell me I can get this dude. Oh, that was like my last hit. Let me try to go to the graphics settings and turn on 90 again. Still at 60. Got him. See, it's kind of like hard to hit that little aim button. All right, so we just passed around 11 minutes on the iPhone playing PUBG New State, and it's been basically around 60, and it has dipped down a little bit, but it's been pretty consistent, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and switch over to the Poco. All right, check this out. Unfortunately, it says that if I'm using USB debugging mode, which is what I need for Perf Dog, then New State may not execute properly, and unfortunately, I've tried it a couple of times and it looks like it's just not gonna run. So sadly, we won't be able to use PerfDoc to compare the stats between the two phones, but I do know that the iPhone played at a solid 60 FPS and there was no screen dimming or any issues, so we'll base it off of that. Now, I do wanna mention that I'm gonna keep it plugged in so it's fair, just like the iPhone was also charging from the MacBook Pro. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and adjust the shoulder buttons. Let's put right right there, so shooting and let's do aim. Oh, I love this so much. And I do want to mention I'm doing the max frame rate option with the graphics set to ultra and let's set this to high as well. Cool thing is I could actually see the FPS on the actual game mode menu. So it's sitting at a pretty solid 60 FPS right now. And there you go. You can see it's still staying at 60 FPS, no dimming. So no issues at all with PUBG New State. And I think the gaming performance is the same between the two, but of course this has the trigger. So really, really nice. And now let's go ahead and go to the iPhone playing Genshin Impact. Let's go into the settings and basically max everything out that I could set the FPS to 120. Yes. You can play 120 FPS Genshin on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. Let's go. All right, so we do have some spikes that go up to 120, but look at that. It actually goes down back to like 50, so it can't handle that FPS. Look at that. Okay, back to 90, back to 60. Boom! All right, let's go. Oh, uh, that's a bad idea. I'm scared. Woo! All right, looks like... Oh, we just dimmed like crazy! I could hardly see anything. The display dimmed, just like an Apex, but now in Genshin, it did it so much more quickly because uh, 120 FPS support, you know? All right, so uh, it is hot, but I saw it spike up again. It only goes up in FPS for like a slight bit. Oh, this FPS is going down. I feel the phone, it's so hot too. 45 FPS, man, this is not good. So this phone can't really handle heat that well, unfortunately, the iPhone. And it's just dropping frames all over the place. All right, now that we're over eight minutes playing, man, the FPS is suffering. It's down to 46, 48, no longer even solid 60, which is very disappointing on this uh, iPhone. So I guess 
that 120 FPS mode literally does not matter. And it looks like the display is still dim. All right, and there you go, we just passed 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this, save it, and let's play on the Poco. All right, and now I'm on the Poco in the graphics settings in Genshin. I've set everything to as high as it can go. Unfortunately, it goes up to 60 FPS, so it does not support 120. All right, now I'm curious to see how the FPS is going to react and respond as I start fighting. Right now it's around uh, 40, 45. Oh, I gotta use these triggers, man. Whoa, it's actually a little bit weird compared to like an FPS shooter. Starting to feel the back of the phone heat up, that's for sure. Oh, and we are dipping. I just saw 37 right there. FPS is dipping. All right, so for uh, this type of game like Genshin, it's not good to have these set. Like it's not as nice. Maybe if you set it to something else, maybe like dodging actually. Shoulder button on the left will be dodge. That's actually nice oh the FPS is suffering 37 38 now that it the phone's heating up it's getting hot I feel those drop frames definitely feel the drop frames let's see how these triggers go oh that's convenient skip Woo. look at that you don't even need to use your right thumb uh, FPS is staying pretty solid though please tell me I'm not gonna t oh I died well that sucked well that was 10 minutes gaming on the Poco, so let's go ahead and pause this and let's go ahead and look at the results. All right, wow, this is interesting. Even though it seemed like the iPhone was underwhelming and it was performing really badly, it actually averaged 56.8 FPS, which is actually pretty good because if you go over to the Poco, which is a dedicated gaming phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the best chip out there for the Android phones, 42.2 FPS with the Poco. Now, of course, the Poco did not dim like the iPhone did, but the overall FPS was quite a bit lower. So, if you're all for the FPS, then the iPhone is the clear winner across all categories because in Apex, it was getting a pretty solid 80 FPS, and then in PUBG New State, solid 60, no dimming in that game, and then Genshin, let's see, 56 Point eight, which is really good for the iPhone as well. While the Poco struggled with FPS across all the categories, which I think is because it's limited by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, it's just not powerful enough. But in terms of all the gaming features, I'm just so impressed that it didn't dim. The controls are really awesome. Those pop out controls, the left and right, crazy good for the gaming. I love how the speakers are set up. I love how it's fully dedicated and that gaming mode you can pull out. However, if you're all for the FPS, which I think a lot of competitive gamers are, the iPhone is still the choice that you wanna go with if you are a gamer and it definitely wins. But if you're on a budget, honestly, 600 bucks for this level of gaming performance and gaming features is very impressive as well. So if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link to an Amazon down in the description below in the pinned comment. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.